When it comes to binders, portfolios, and pages for Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other trading card games, there's a vast variety of choices. Many different companies make many different kinds of binders and portfolios, so much so that I've had many, many previous review videos on binders and portfolios alone. And still more and more products come to my door, so let us explore. This video will be looking at the newest lineup from Dragon Shield, which has such a wide array in the market today that I'd like to focus only on Dragon Shield for this video. As always, careful examination and scrutiny reveals that some are better than others, sometimes by a lot. Let's take a look. Let's begin with the Dragon Shield Slipcase Binders. Slipcase binders are three ring binders with a sturdy, protective case that they slip in and out of. Dragon Shield offers a wide variety of colors and artworks to accentuate your bookshelf. But never mind aesthetics, let's take a look at the protection these offer your collection. Within each sturdy 3mm slipcase is a solid 3-ring binder for your binder pages. These are D-rings, which are far more preferable than O-rings for keeping your pages and cards safe from unwanted folding or pressure. Along those lines, a handy compressor bar is also included to keep your pages in check. The biggest drawback here is the D-rings do not have a built-in mechanism for simultaneous opening. So you need to grab one ring and pull and push to open and close. This is going to lead to the binder rings becoming disjointed over time. Beyond that, the folders themselves feature super high gloss print that makes the exterior easy to keep clean, although the slipcase itself is almost akin to double sleeving your three ring binder so that the binder and the cards within have next to no contact with open air and dust while sitting on your shelf. There is a finger access hole to make pulling your binder in and out easy, and your binder pages, be they Dragon Shield, Ultra Pro, or BCW, turn easy easily on the smooth rings. The other drawback I see is that the components themselves are largely comprised of cardboard, although this appears to be incredibly thick and rigid board, so how much of a weakness is this? In a lot of ways, it really is like double sleeving your three ring binder. While your binder is inside the slipcase, it's protected from the elements, it's protected from any cards somehow falling out and being misplaced. It's very easy for transport, especially between houses. I like the way we've got the little finger hole here for you to slide the folder in and out of. Now, you might be asking yourself, what about the fact that these are a cardboard stock? Well, let's see how easy it is to tear it apart. There's cardboard and then there's cardboard. Let's see what I can do. This is a completely empty one, by the way. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna tear this to pieces. You've seen me with Ultra Pro deck boxes. I can bend it, kinda. All right, I will not be defeated by cardboard. Ugh. Tear. Got it, nope, oh, got it, oh, got it. Whew. Ah. I do feel that this is really solidly constructed. It took quite a lot from me to get it to tear. Probably don't wanna get these wet, but if they've got your cards in it, well, not gonna get them wet anyway. Despite the fact that this is board stock, I feel very confident in saying that it is neither cheap nor flimsy and is a secure, solid way to store your binder sheets. No, I'm not happy about the fact that these are cardboard, but they are a particularly thick, well-constructed board design, one that is tough enough stuff that can stand the test of time. While the price of these Dragon Shield slipcases is higher than a basic heavy-duty three-ring binder, you are also getting the slip case, which is becoming less and less common to find in today's office supply store. Pros, slipcases offer added protection than just a basic three-ring binder. Binders have D-rings, colorful artwork and design, compressor bar for added protection. Cons, no unified lock mechanism for the rings, which could lead to misalignment down the road. Strong, thick, and sturdy as it may be, this is still made out of cardboard, not something I'm particularly fond of, but I think I demonstrated it takes a lot to get it to rip and tear. 
I'm on the border here, but I'm not quite confident enough to give this a B plus. I'm going to have to go B. Believe it or not, the cardboard isn't what bothers me most about these so much as the failure to have that unifying lock mechanism. It's still a very great product and something a lot of players will find. It's exactly what they were looking for. Next, a three ring binder is just no good without binder sheets to go inside. And here Dragon Shield has done what I love to see, offered their own new take on this accessory instead of just trying to replicate a version of what is already dominating the marketplace. Dragon Shield 18 pocket pages have a black backed semi matte interior and clear low glare side loading pockets. These binder pages are tough as, well, Dragon Shield mats, only with rounded corners and soft touch edges. A variety of binder holes means these sheets fit all binders. and the side-loading nature of the pockets make it less likely for cards to fall out or unwanted fingers to find their way in when passing your folder along for trades at your local game store. Best of all, when sleeved, either single or double, the sleeved card practically clicks into place, a perfect fit in each pocket. But of course, you can also just put in unsleeved cards or cards sleeved in an inner sleeve as well. And that's the part of the design I like the most. Top-loading binder pages, such as the Ultra Pro cannot hold sleeved cards, and they also do very little to keep cards in place. A light shake and woo, you see, they're starting to come out. I'm always very, very nervous about losing cards just by having my binder jostle. Whereas with the Dragon Shield pages, we can put fully sleeved cards in here, and because they are side loading, obviously shaking up and down is gonna do nothing, but even and you saw how lightly I had to shake with the Ultra Pro. Look. That's pretty hard and they're not even budging on either side. While I'm sure that's sufficient, all right. <laughs> Try doing that with the Ultra Pro. Look at that, perfect. My word. What happens? Pros, side loading. Cards stay in place, especially when sleeved. Black soft matte interior, clear anti-glare surface, fits all binders, extremely durable acid and PVC free. Cons, honestly, besides a slightly higher price than the competition, I can find only positives for this product and I'm going to say the grade is an A. These are my new top pick for side loading binder sheets and I will be using these as my personal preferred binder sheet moving forward. Fantastic. Next we have Dragon Shield's new line of portfolios, the Codex. Secured with a thick elastic strap and soft padded cover on a firm exterior, the Codex has 18 side-loaded card pockets per page and can hold a total of 360 cards to keep your collection safe. Acid and PVC free, the sheets can hold unsleeved, sleeved, or double sleeved cards. Just like with those pages we saw, sleeved cards really snap into place. And these side loading pockets are just fantastic with that black textured interior and ultra clear fronts. Excellent securing of your cards and excellent showing of them off. All pages also have a soft folded right edge and rounded corners. The spine allows for a label to slide in, which can be handy, while hidden acrylic sheets inside the covers make portfolios flexible, yet difficult to damage and bend. 
difficult to damage. I'll be the judge of that. Now, we have the same security in terms of holding our cards in place as we did with the binder pages. These are not going to be coming out. These are not coming undone. We've got that added acrylic sheet in the covers. So imagine you've got your precious binder with your precious cards in it. Someone's gonna step on your backpack, sit on your backpack, or you just throw it in a trunk and the suitcase goes on top of it. How well does this hold up under pressure? Let's take a look. Wow, that is pretty, nope, 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 ow, my foot. Pretty strong, secure, and safe protection for your collection. Available in a wide variety of dragon aesthetic illustrations or just a plain deep black. The Dragon Shield Codex is available in two, four, nine, and 16 pocket pages. Pros, side loading, black soft matte interior, firm cover, extremely durable, cards are unlikely to slide out, especially when sleeved, acid and PVC free, and available in a wide variety of sizes. Cons, again, there's nothing I can latch onto here. These binders are excellent protection and a tough, lovely way to store your treasured collection. It's another A from Dragon Shield. Once only a company that had quality sleeves, they have really stepped up their game in the department of other accessories. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a message. And remember, whether you're buying binder pages, deck boxes, or card sleeves, when you spend that money, try and spend it where you play Magic the Gathering. And that's at your local game store, whenever it is possible, whenever it is reasonable. Why? You're supporting your Magic community. And this video is brought to you by my and many other people's local game store, Card Kingdom, a brick and mortar pillar of this community, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. These are the people that keep Talarian Community College going and growing strong. So thank you.